Oh, look oh. at the state of my trousers. It's about time right. you bought it. What the fuck? It, that's in my ears. It's funny though, because I had a banana sandwich this morning. I can smell. But I had spaghetti carbonara last night. Oh, so that God. belch had garlic banana flavours to it. My that's, some, that's some complex flavour My partner would love that She eats all that crap Garlic banana? Yeah Is that not her nickname for you? She has banana ham A ham banana ham. Well, she puts on a sandwich uh-huh. Loads of ham Like on either side of a banana uh-huh. Uh-huh. On a sandwich She's weird I do like ham with peanut butter no, I don't. Uh, yeah, saltiness. I yeah, don't. I don't like it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another fucking Scotland. Egon Ronnie is here. Eh? What? Egon Ronnie. Egon Ronnie. Chef guy. What's? I don't know what you're talking about. No, because we're speaking about food. What? Who's Egon? What? Like Wolfgang Puck. What are you talking? Are you having a stroke? <laughs> we never heard of Wolfgang Puck. No. Oh come on, man! Wolfgang Puck. I don't eat. <laughs> Wolfgang Puck. Our listeners, they'll have been to the pucks. I feel lower. I am. Am I lower? I am. Well, I'm mor- lower. Mor- morally or? Yeah, I'm morally. Lower. Now, this week has been relatively quiet. I've only been in one fight. With the, with the Pirates of Penzance. But hold on, you'd be proud of me. Right. Do you know what happened? He said he couldn't sell these diesel you van. Ar- uh, for the listeners, you get in an argument about fuel types. About fuel type. Now, I wasn't in the argument. I just said, and he goes, why is no one buying a diesel? And I went, well, I wouldn't buy a diesel. He started running in circles, f- flailing his arms around, going, people are fucking idiots. You're all fucking idiots. And I'm like, so I just start laughing. Wait, am I recording? Yeah. All's good. And it wound him up. Yeah. So I thought, oh, if he's going to call me a fucking idiot because I said I wouldn't buy a diesel, it was yeah. a very pleasant conversation, and it just turned instantly. But he does this, but I've never had. He's it, a but... man with with shall we say sensitive nipples. Yes, and he's he's never done it to me, but this was the first time. So uh, he, he he just kicked off, right? So I went, oh, but they're banning them, and they were meant to be two thousand thirty, but they're doing it in three years. I just made this up. Yeah. Right. He went, that's a fucking lie. That's a fucking lie. And he's flailing about and people are coming out and looking. What's he shouting at? Viagra. It must be the Viagra. So he's shouting like anything, right? Can you put Viagra in your petrol tank to make your car actually go faster? No, the wheels go stiff and you can't turn them. (laughs) So I thought, I'm winding him up. Then I could see him getting, he was turning purple in the face. So angry, right? And this That's was over. Viagra, the purple yeah, this the was this was over a bloody car, right? Fuel type, fuel type. But then he starts attacking me personally. There's a lot to attack. To There's be a lot fair. to attack, and I said, "Listen, that's enough. Too far away did with he, you." Did he call you naughty names? And he started, yeah, and he started getting really annoyed. And I just told him, and here's the thing: I didn't swear, no, I no. didn't shout. I just told him, uh-huh. "I says away with you," and he did. But he had a box of them and he started throwing it and everything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He needs to retire <laughs> away to the home for... In a, for d- he needs to be in a debtor's, he's in, he's debtor's in, prison. He's in uh, sheltered housing. And he was telling us, he's, oh, I'm in like 60 grand a debt, but I'm not paying it back, fuck them. And He's just a, an awful, awful How person. How do you get into sheltered housing when you're not really... He should be sheltered for humanity. From humanity. He's an awful person. He I've w- seen him do what he done to me. I've seen him do uh, this to other people literally weekly. Aye. He's got this temper. Well, I did shout. So him. funny when I was shouting at him, his temper didn't really come through. <gasps> no, he when I when he realised that I I turned on him, he stopped. Yeah, and it's like don't. There's going to be someone who's going to go mental well, on he, one he day. Took, he, he took refuge in a chair when I was shouting at him, and his his anus, which I'd imagine would be quite loose, <laughs> was like a limpet, and it just held him onto the chair. Well, you couldn't have shifted him off that you chair. Know, I believe that he's our tune on the cover, Aye. but. You would have been proud of me because instead of kicking off and chasing him, mm-hmm. I didn't. No. I just went, I'm done. No, I, I don't have, want this in my life. You, th- you gave me all wrong. I'm, I'm disappointed. You should have chased I, him. I know. Cause I would have loved the, like a Benny that. Hill style chase a bit. Well, I, he's old and I'm limping, so oh, well, you had the chance of getting away. Fair. Makes it, he's not that old. I think he's 67. It's fine. That's... <laughs> you can't be someone up at 67. <laughs> I've seen footage of Rod Stewart at the Jubilee. He's nimble. Hold 77. On. No, no. He's, if you can move, you can fight. You know what's wrong? He thinks he has old man privilege and he can go around saying what he wants and no one will do anything. 
Oh, right? What's he said? What's Rod Stewart said? Not old, no, Rod Stewart. Get off of Rod Stewart. We're oh, talking about oh, the pirate. Because Rod Stewart does say some stuff. He says some stupid stuff. No, but this guy, th- he's got the old man <laughs> He privilege. thinks he's an older statesman. And he can say what he wants. And no one's going to bother him. He can just shout at people. But I saw one guy uh, about four years ago. I heard uh, shouting. So I looked out and the guy came back and grabbed him by the face. Uh, not the neck. Oh, that's a good Grabbed look. him by the face. And uh-huh. he just stood there and went, oh, you need to calm down. He caused it. Yeah. He, I was watching. Oh, it was terrible. When I used to work in the doors. A speciality when you grab them behind the Adam's apple like that. That'll stop you. That puts the steam right out of their engine. Someone that changes them from a that changes the diesel. Someone Aye. once done something to me that stopped me in my tracks so much I'm still stopped because of it. The fingered Uranus. No, they flicked my Adam's apple. Oh yeah, they'll put Fuck you. Fuck's sake! Yeah, I that, almost died. Yeah, they'll put you out. And it, I just you can actually, you can kill somebody if you <laughs> yeah. get punched in there. Oh. Yeah, because it pushes it back into your throat. And you're can, done. If, if that gets bust, you're dead, man. Oh god. First subject of the day. Me not fighting is a good thing. I'm very proud of myself as well. Uh-huh. Oh, that's the old one. Got it upside down. No, you're not getting to look at it because I use book. I just open randomly and use a page. I know. Right. A lawyer in America. Uh huh. Has left her seventy-five thousand dollar a year job uh-huh. to become a pet psychic. She gets three hundred and fifty dollars an hour, dead or alive, doesn't matter. The animal, you, they, she can contact late in the afterlife. Late stage capitalism. I hate her. It's late stage capitalism. I hate her. I hate this. No, no, no. But it's all part. No, but it's it's, it's not her. She's a symptom. She's not the disease. You're not blaming her. You're no. blaming the people that use her. Yes. Yes. Carl Sagan, he says in the time of, I'm paraphrasing ter- terribly, but yeah. high technology, Yeah. if people don't understand it, they're more likely yeah. to go to voodoo superstition. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is this what's happening? Because when I was a kid, especially in teens, uh, yeah, everyone was into psychic shit. They believed it. Every ninja had superpowers. Yeah. You know, you just didn't go to a karate class it to get a fit. noise. He made a wah, 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 wah. A helicopter. Wah, 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 wah. No, no. What? Wah, wah, wah. That's a noise it made. Wah, 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 wah. It's like vision. Wah, wah, wah. He saw. Oh, yeah. Wah, 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 he jumped. Wah, 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 wah. It's wah, wah, wah. Woo, woo. Wah, 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 wah. But I loved all that. Yeah. But it was also Nobody bullshit. Nobody really believed in it. No, though. it was bullshit. No, it, was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was kids' TV magic. I've said to you before, yeah. I miss, I miss all the martial arts magazines and John yeah. Menzies, which you had some middle-aged guy with a punch being in a moustache, and he was a ninja, and had magic powers. There was this whole thing. Now, you, what ruined that, right? Now, mixed martial arts is fine, uh-huh. but you took the magic out of it. Yeah. You took the fun. Remember the master, really, Van Cleef? He was great. He was wonderful. He there died, was, died in the role. There was one, and that was weird, because I think it was... Oh, did he? Did it, he transcend? It was a series here, but it was a, a sort of film in the States. I'm not sure which did way it, it worked. transcend? Maybe Trans- it went on to a different plane. Now, Here's what you I... You have a face a little bit like Lee Van Cleef. Yeah, I do. I love that. Yeah. I thought, should they get the white moustache? Judge Judy should be in the new series of The Master. Judge Judy. I, I do look a little like Judge Judy, That's but I'm getting lot. more... The older lot. I get, more Lee Van Cleef. I like that. Lee Van Cleef. So, there was a film I was watching, uh-huh. Ninjas. Uh-huh. And there's these two guys, and they're, they're getting picked off in this building, right? And they says, right, back to back. So they got back to back, and the ninja moved in and went back to back with them and turned with them, and they, he didn't see them. They were like, what is it? And then he moved away again. And I thought you could do that for real. It was amazing. The best ninja film ever is when Hammer Horror thought, God, these ninja films are popular. Let's make one. It's like golden, the ten golden ninjas. With werewolves and everything. <laughs> it's just Peter Cushion. In looking my usual at, castle. Somebody's doing like kung fu and Peter Cushion's looking at them, mildly disappointed in them. Oh, it's wonderful. I like yeah. that when the early, the, 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 the magical period of um, Innocent martial times. arts. Yeah, was late 70s to mid yeah. 80s. Yeah. Where you had Enter the Ninja or, or whatever it's called, yeah. and American Ninja. I loved there all that. There was loads of extremely violent ninja films. Like, Shot in the Philippines, yeah, everything. Yeah, we'd end up getting cut, really butchered versions on VHS. Oh, and there's, wonderful. I'm sure there's one Ninja Assassin. Yeah, oh, I love all that. And there's one where the guy vomits in his gas mask. It's just horrible. And then stuff. there's the one. What about the the one? I can't remember what it's called. But it's the the ballet dancer out of uh, Breaking or Breakdance the movie, and she she's like she does just working out. And then she has a relationship with a cop, but again, then she gets possessed by the the spirit of this killed ninja, and it's oh, it's fucking, it's terrible. Is that what's her name? Rostock. Who is Don't that? Know. Who is a female American blonde woman who's a 
the ninja type. Oh, uh, Cynthia Ro- Rothrock. Ro- Rothrock. She was good. Yeah, she she's could wear a pair bun- of jeans. She's still got buns of steel. Very American well, looking. Very, but she was. She could Imagine do it. Imagine in a Bruce Springsteen concert, an audience. Oh, but she'd just kick everyone. She'd just, just, kick, just do a windmill. Just Whoa. kick, gig, make a Get space. Your own space. Yeah. No, they're going back to the, the dog that. psychics. No, it's think of it in our life. Yeah. Everyone had dogs. I grew up. We had dogs. Mm-hmm. And the neighbours had dogs. The dogs wouldn't have been in the house. They'd right, go okay. to work and the dog would be That's out. right, yeah. They'd go about and then when you go back from work, so they'd walk and shit themselves. Mm-hmm. And then when you go back from work, hi, dog. And it would be, hi, can I see you in that. But now dogs stay in the house. Mm-hmm. They're worth like four grand each. People don't walk them themselves. They employ someone to take them out. And Lots park. of dog walkers in Dundee. And they're yeah. not, they're not, they're, they've, Dogs have become, oh, they're more, well, a child's free. It's just a bit of dirty water and you get a child. Oh, God, you're romantic. Exactly. Whereas a, ch- a dog's four grand and all the vet bills. The good thing about having a pet is you realise what the NHS would be like. If we didn't have the NHS and we had to pay bills. Oh, my God, impossible. Because if you get yeah. stuff, you get fucking flea ointment for your dog, mm-hmm. 20 quid. Yeah. When I get my flea ointment from the NHS, free. Free. Wonderful. Free. You know, I, I hadn't been What's Ill. your thoughts on dogs being called they say they're the parent of the animal? It's yeah, they're the mum and dad, mummy daddy of the, the dog. Oh no, 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 I don't like Weird, that. Weird, isn't it? No, it's like I have a cat. Uh-huh. Uh you're not equals, you're like it's a superior. No, it, we share. Share. Share from the bowl. Well it seems like that. A bit of mutual grooming. You don't own the car. No. You have to pay for it, you have to get his food, he shouts at you like fuck at three in the morning. Yeah. Because he's like, you two-legged fuck, get me food, and you, you're you okay, and I do it. Oh. But I, I don't know, I don't feel I own him No, in that sense. I think that's a bit... Oh. I don't know. No, the, where's the country where dogs are independent? They walk about, they're not owned by anybody. In this country, dogs have to be owned. Yes, that's if right. If it's not an owned dog, it's a stray and it's got to be dealt with. But, is yeah, it Brazil is it, or something? I don't know, but they get looked after. And yeah. You get vets going round, they check them all, and yeah. off they go again. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like that. The dogs now... Imagine the money you could have made back in the 80s because all the dogs were fucking. Can your your Vizsla would fuck the neighbour's poodle and yeah. come up with a, a, a Vizsla? A Vizsla. And that's nowadays people are buying these dogs for like four grand. Yeah. It's, no, no, they're just. Although a, I've seen, uh, is it a guy in, I don't know, Netherlands? I, I'm not sure. Uh-huh. But he's taken the bulldog and he's been breeding the nose. Making them normal. Oh, they look amazing. Yeah, yeah. Poor wee buggers. Well, they're not. Looks great. Well, pugs now are just on their last legs. Yeah, they're done. Because the pug- they're telling you not to buy them now. Yeah, pug- yeah, pugs are essentially Britain. We've reached the pug stage. <laughs> can't, we can't breathe. It's just, we're can't done. breathe. We're in, we're, 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 we look silly. That's what do the true. world think about the whole Jubilee thing? They probably think it's silly. It's embarrassing. Did you see? I've, I've not seen it's any ridiculous. of it. They did a thing, Dames and Jags, where they had fuckers like Twiggy, <laughs> some other fucker. And they're just in these Jaguars going along waving. And then Joan Collins. They all broke, they broke down. Yeah, and they're getting but pushed. They had, I led to believe they had floats, Jubilee floats. Ah, yes. And one was the this. 90s, and Naomi, they'd got Naomi Campbell's old arse up in Oh, my God. Waving. Just, just, all these fuckers, the only reason they're doing People say, why is she doing that? She wants the, the damehood. She wants the damehood, yeah. Uh, they, they say the one funny thing is Gary Barlow had nothing to do with anything. Because obviously he was dodging the tax. Yeah. So his copy, his copy books marked for the time being. Because he would have been all over that. Oh, shit. he would have been. Was over. Elton he John it. involved? I don't know, but I saw him fall off a chair. That was hilarious. Elton John did. Yeah. Where he sat on a like a director's chair and it just collapsed under him. No, eh? Despicable man. He's just horrible. Everybody says he's a lovely man, Elton John. Try and be a waiter and then go see and, how nice a guy. Go and Elton watch John. him. Do the airport. I'm still standing live. Oh, I'm Del Danden. Oh, Del Danden. That's the the time. <laughs> Yeah, he's it's a f- amazing. He's an awful asshole. I've watched it about twelve times in a row, clip, crying, yeah. crying, laughing. It's like he's forgot to do. You've got to remember, he didn't write any of his own songs. He done the. I think he just done the music. Bernie That's Toppin. It. Yeah, is it Bernie? Is he still alive, Bernie Toppin? I'm not sure. Top I'm not sure. Top him. Uh, yeah, no. Just, but he, I think as the lyricist, he'd get more money. Toppin. I think that's the way it works. Yeah, it should be. I think it's the Should way it be. works. It used to work that but, way. But anyway. no, it's all just it's it's done. The boil has been lanced for. So when I see another ten years, oh god! Hope so that's but it's oh just no. just everything about it. You know I what mean, I don't like? What that she won't sit in a wheelchair. A wheelchair's not a bad thing. 
Yeah. A wheelchair can liberate you, change your life. Just get in let a wheelchair. Push about. Yeah. It's not a sign of weakness to be in a wheelchair for fun. How many good people wheel. in wheelchairs have good are going, wheel. cunt? I think she should have one of those power loader things. What, like on aliens? Yeah. That'd be good. But done up like a Union Jacks. <laughs> <laughs> Union Jacks. Dum, 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 dum. A mech suit for What's the Queen. Bum, bum, you know bum, what? Bum, <laughs> it's bum, gonna, bum, it's bum, just a matter of time. Tearing open. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what's for happening. the Queen. That would be feel, wonderful. A it's crown on it. The whole, it's just all what we're in this holding pattern. It's just nah. Weird. You know what it is. Listen, it happens in every generation. Yeah, where you feel it's like late stage capitalism. Mm. If you were in Victorian times, the change is so dramatic. You'd be like, "What's happening? The world's coming to an end." No, can we have lost the, the same ability thing. to do forward planning? Imagination uh, You see stuff coming down the line Like yeah. for, I'm not a traveller So I okay. don't give a fuck All those people <laughs> stuck in airports Who cares Yeah who cares Not me I'm not there Two days in an airport I'd go home I, I would hang I about. enjoy the airport I've no, spent days like that day. And I love it Just lie in there In your own fecal matter mm-hmm. uh, The uh, But they were told uh, When things reopen have A lot of staff All the old hands have gone They've retired off when they can Yeah They've paid off a lot of the staff mm-hmm. Eight, we need to We can't just reopen we've got, Well I'll be fine It's our attitude in this country It'll be fine They keep relying on Great British spirit And pluck That doesn't exist it Doesn't exist It doesn't exist We are no more plucky Than any other nation Okay You we're say having a, We're having an excess of pluck I think this is generational I think it comes with our age And Make and mend Make and make do Yeah But you imagine Being um, 17 years old Uh huh And Imagine War breaks out Yeah like World War Two, uh-huh. your whole future's gone. Yeah. No, it's it's terrible. You see, Ukraine, their future's gone. Every stage, never, every generation, never, it's it's something, you, nev- something. you never recover from it. Yeah, it's like it's, the first World War decimated so many young guys. Mm-hmm. So there was just a generation of women who just, I'm yeah. not saying marriage is great, but they didn't have partners. Yeah, and the guys that to make do we were the kind of you know, the ones that sub- the, us the, uh, <laughs> the real. <laughs> The real, <laughs> the top dogs, the alphas all got yeah. slaughtered. Because oh. they were like, follow me, guys. Do you know something? There's no such thing as alpha males. No, you told me this, even in chimpanzees. It's wolves. No, it's it was first it, it, uh, it's, it's studied a, in wolves. It's, and it, the person who said that's the alpha in that, the years later they went, no, it was wrong about it. But we stick with it, alpha males. But they've all doesn't exist. They've seen it in the... In the Zoos as well It doesn't exist in nature No it doesn't <coughs> I think it might exist To a degree you, in, in, in a zoo But you can see it And it looks visual But it's yeah. actually misleading And it's not Everything yeah. na- That's the thing Nature's There's an organisation People think nature's This very strict organisation Nature is utter chaos Chaos and fast flowing And, and com- fast changing And complete yeah. And it's, uh, yeah. it's always totally In a state of flux Yeah And things just Dramatically change Mm-hmm. They seem to think there's a. It, it's like this kind of wooey kind of uh, Native American. I'm not saying the Native Americans say this, but, uh, but everything I know what you mean. The, the, the balance the, of nature. And nothing no does such anything. Thing. No. No such thing. A, a fox will fucking. If it got, got the chance, it would eat every gopher in existence. Yes. No. It's, there's no. There's no. It's no. It's not it like. Work it's that not, way. There's it's no, no worship down, man. The, the, Vacuum I, forming. I like, get annoyed with that balance of nature yeah. as well. Where humans have to coexist Now hold on Right We don't coexist We no, are nature We are nature yeah We don't coexist these, with it We are these it These phones are nature it's, If we invent a particle That doesn't yeah. exist in nature Yeah That's nature That's nature yeah We yeah. are nature yeah. You can't avoid it but The phone's say, nature You're right saying all the Avian flu for example Is wiping out in Shetland All the seabirds Oh shit Got nothing to do with us Avian flu They need flu. masks We what, bird masks wipe, That's wipe, money Wipe them out But if, if everything if it if there was slaughtered, you'd see dead birds everywhere. You're like, oh my god, it, oh, people would be crying and everything. But something would fill that gap very quickly, and it balances. It's it. what happens. Yeah, it's yeah. what happens, and that's where things happen. That's where evolution moves thing on a stage. And imagine our ancestors. Something shit had happened, and we've come along. Mm-hmm. There's been a pinch point. Someone better than us obviously tripped, mm-hmm. and we ran into the wee gap. That's true. That's true. We homunculi wee it's, people, but it's it. It's like when people say, but we're the custodians of this planet. And you're like, hold on, no. No, we're no more of a custodian than a ferret. Than if, exactly. And now, it, this is not me being all like, I don't care about pollution and stuff no. like that. Oh, we've got, we should do. But here's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Pollution mm-hmm. is nature. 
Yeah, it's all it's horrible. I'm not being cynical by saying that, but anything that we do, it's just it's, part it's, of the game. It's ve- it's 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 smart. If you say we are the custodians of the world of human beings, it's a bit it, religious. It's like religion, and they they thought they were it was their kind. Hey, this is our bounty. land. This is our bounty. No, this belongs to us. No, no, no. You could see what happened with a single disease. Mm. It's killed millions, mm-hmm. and that was with the world fighting it, going into lockdown. Yeah. Going, what if a disease came along, airborne, that was a thousand times more oh, dangerous Jesus than that? Jesus Christ! And that's what can happen, mate. Mankind is a wheelie bin pickup away from utter chaos. <gasps> if, oh shit! I didn't put my bins out. But came I put my bins out yesterday. Oh. Say the bins never got. Say the bin men went on strike. You remember the strikes? Back I do. In the day, I do. And his rubbish. I was forty-five when the happened. People don't go and deal with it. No. I've, I've worked no, with they pe- don't. They that's, won't go and tidy up. That's themselves. right. I've seen. I've seen people. Uh, remember, I was at a meeting about the council years ago, and one woman, one of the bosses at my work, had said, "Excuse me," she says, "I go running in the Camperdown Park." She says, "There's been a bag in the tree for a year now. What are you going to do about it?" And the guy said to her, "If you considered picking it up, and it never entered the fucking entered head. head, right?" I got shit off of someone because what, the bins didn't get oh, picked no, sorry, up. I, I thought, so you, I thought I, somebody handed you. I took the bins out, uh-huh. put them in my car and took them to the tip mm-hmm. and then phoned the place and said, like, you yeah. didn't come around and pick them up. Yeah. And someone said to me, you're a fucking idiot. I went, no, I need a place to put bins Aye. and they're going to stink. So I, I, I re-bagged oh, no, you... them yeah. and took them away yeah, yeah. and then said to the, I phoned the bins and said, look, I hadn't picked up. And they went, right, we'll look into it. And, and right enough, they yeah. sorted it. But what was I going to do? Just wait until someone comes up and picks my bins up? No, no I can't leave them. I, the, the bin... The was, shit I, I got I, for that, oh, though. Oh, fuck, I put the bins... One day I put the bins in when they collected. I just took the bin down. There's a big really bin. Mm-hmm. Just took it away. Two just minutes take it. People it are lazy bastards. But you've got to watch that. that um, I, I knew this girl once, and she... One thing I hate, and you don't really see much now, but people throwing rubbish on the ground. No, you may you do. Dundee's terrible for it. In the centre, I have noticed this. Shocking. But I've not seen it... That, but not we're not talking eighties level where you just threw everything yeah, in the window, yeah, yeah. Okay. right? And she would throw stuff on the ground, mm-hmm. and I went, "Please don't do that." And, and that, she went, "That gives someone a job." Oh, it's a, it's a, she felt she was providing someone that's work. That's fucking appalling. You're I like, can. Oh. I have. This is. I have never littered in my entire life. Never. I've never done it since I was a child. I've, I've never, never done it. I used to go home because I'm a greedy bastard. I'd go home with like all the sweetie papers in my pocket. Mm-hmm. Never litter, and I just, I, I, I just can't do it. I've never done it because here's the thing: it must be the way you're brought up or something. It's never entered my radar even no. just to go like that and throw it. You put it, it in your it's pocket. It's not a class thing. It's not a sex no, thing. It's no. any fucker. Just piece of shit. The thing that's really annoyed me on shit street. I told you about the bean bag it burst. And yeah. it's the little, the little polystyrene oh, ball. awful, yeah. Mate, they're everywhere. Yeah. I've spotted them in the town. They have blown everywhere. miles into the town. They're up past me. Hey, they've blown up my minutes. street. Yeah. I'm the only thing that gets blown in that street. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going I've on been, one of my cycles, because uh-huh, we're both uh-huh. cyclists I'm now. Gonna, I'm going to find out. I'm going to put a tracking device on your bike. And I was doing, I'd done 37 kilometres the other night, uh-huh. and I felt good. I was really oh, powering okay. it. Powering it. Really having a great time. Uh-huh. But I went past the city beach. Uh-huh. Dog shit. And there was a, do- <sighs> there was a dog shiting in it, and there was kids playing. That's and I was no just like... Mm-hmm. I reckon... I didn't like give it. it... In 10 years' time, that's going to be all... Paved. Oh, that'll be gone. There's no way that can last. That's gonna be that. paved, yeah. isn't it? It's gonna be. There's gonna be picnic benches. And it there. cost like three million. Jesus Christ! Well, across from me, because I like to watch my neighbours with a oh. high-powered telescope. Oh, I like to watch them. It's like rear window. Oh fuck! You do have a telescope as well. Jesus. Rear window. No, but across the way from me, there's a house. You said no. I made the the sling for it. <laughs> oh, you, you you've got me. Yeah. No, but that's for bird watching. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's I'm a spotter sure. scope. I don't I'm have sure. a tripod now. Okay, and right. a night scope on don't it. Need no. that, I no. Don't need that. I don't need that. No. Okay. I have night vision. I, I get my neighbours. Hi there, Steve. Okay. Uh huh. What are you doing? He's like, put down the cup of tea, Steve. No, the um, and across the way from me, there's houses mm-hmm. right across. And there was a a gay couple that lived there, and their next an Asian family. But that's by and by. The gay couple have have moved out. The new f- couple have went in. And there is a wheelie bin war going on. Oh my god! So, there's nothing worse. So the the new couple have their bins. Mm-hmm. It's un- unfortunate for them. They can't. The, the bins are sat in the street. 
but the neighbours have encroached onto their house with mm-hmm. their bins. Yeah. And I think there must be, words have been said, because there's now a toilet appeared in the street. What? A, a, a toilet and cistern sat there. Oh my God, that's and just a piss So them rather off. than putting their wheelie bins in front of their house, they've now got four wheelie bins in front of their neighbour's house. And what I don't a know how it's going to end. to do. It's really... That's... It's really... Why would you do I that? I don't know. But one day I looked out and the, the, one of the kids of the family was crouched down, mm-hmm. peering through the letterbox of their neighbours. So I don't know if there's some... Because these things can get overheated. Oh down my in England, God. a guy killed his neighbour. It was like a demarcation property line like two inches he killed him with a baseball a cricket bat oh now that's recent isn't it but just wheelie that's what I mean wheelie bins are oh god that's where wars are going to be fought well I don't know what it's like in the rest of the country but a few years ago they brought these huge bins into the streets in Dundee which are a huge block in case they get stolen and a massive block because everyone was stealing the bins yeah so they're chained to the ground but that's for flats yeah but they took up Everything. Every now, spin. no one can park. No. And they were putting them, they chained them up outside. Now, my partner's house, they chained up outside her house, so she looked out onto a bin. Beautiful. But they moved it when they were doing the street, Aye. and they moved it to the neighbours, so they never said anything. They never moved it back. But, um, yeah, it's the worst thing ever. I don't know. I've not seen the machine that comes and empties it. No. The guys Have just you? put their hands in and, and no, lift them do, out. I do, I do they? Yeah, the, ones, the ones up at, yeah. So they just go like that. Take them out. I think uh, it's quicker. I was always amazed that there was rival bin companies. Oh, that's crazy. There's a Kunso bin, but then you've got Biffa. Biffa. But Biffa tend to go for they do, like, companies. The police station. Uh, well, I've Biffa, because yeah. if you've got a com- if you've got a business and you're taking your bins away, it costs you more to go. So that's the Biffa right, yeah. undercut. That's where all the criminality is in America. It's the the the, the bins, yeah, the bins, it's concrete money. and bins. That's oh the two. God. Every every building money. in New York. Every bit of concrete laid made is, with bins. Is, is made with, <laughs> some Italians getting his uh, getting his pocket lined made with, with bins, right? Bins. So that, that, that was pet psychics. <laughs> no, but it's not. It's, it's people deserve that. It's not. I'm not blaming the pet psychic. They know they are not fucking psychic. I know, but so I, it's still, a scam. I still hate them. Oh no, it's despicable. But if you pay for that, what would you? What would you, you think of pet psychologists? Arseholes. Uh, you know what I mean but they have like oh no we're not pet psychics we're a pet psychologist where did you get your degree oh a Murray District Council the co- the college again Murray College oh, oh God, Angus that College that matters then here yeah. of course so, mm-hmm. I was watching this couple in Disneyland and they went when into, you were in Disneyland no just okay. on TV uh-huh. on YouTube and they were in a restricted area and it was a proposal. And one of the employees came along, grabbed the ring out of the guy's hand and went out. And everyone said, no, he'd done a terrible thing. But these fucking horrible people went yeah. into a restricted area, yeah, restricted true. for a reason. Yeah. Marriage proposals. I hate them. Especially if there's a flash mob of fucking dancing. Is that, I th- is that worse than gender reveal parties? Worse. All these things are not done... I'm not a party guy. No, I grew up. We were not. We're not ones of family. Not ones for big birthday uh, parties. Yeah, not a thing. Same. Yeah, I, I'm suspicious of people who have giant parties and hundreds of people there because they they're not your friends. They're not your friends. No. I, but these. But fair enough. If you want to get close friends together and have a laugh, fair enough. That's your bro. If it's your, but it's not done for that. It's done. For the it's a show. It's a this, show. It's a. Bot. I don't like the it's show. Shallow and despicable. Yeah. Why have a birthday party for a one-year-old? Yeah, they're just little fucking shitting bastards. They have no idea. Nobody cares. But what, what, and it's always why, big. Why take a one-year-old on holiday and go? You know what the saddest that? thing is with families like ah. that? They have a massive party for a one-year-old. Right. The party decreases every year okay. as they get older. Okay. They, they really enjoyed having a one-year-old and a two-year-old's hard work and a three-year-old fuck it. Every year it gets less and less and less. But just, ah. just, just, it's, it's a just big show. showy people. People are showy. It's like people that used to be on blind date. Can that kind ah, of people? that horrible kind of person I once. That Amanda just, Holden. Oh, she's the fucking worst. She's the worst. No talent. She just, can't do anything. No, nothing. No, she periodically takes an album out. Nobody buys. It's just, she works at a radio station. She pays somebody to photograph her every morning. She's got something in the corner. That's she's right. She's yeah. got bits of Les Dennis floating about in her fanny. That's <laughs> and Neil Morrissey. 
<laughs> oh no! What a combo! Oh my what god! A a lot of hair. What a cocktail! Jesus Christ! But the thing is, right? She she's seen Les is, Dennis's cum face. Haven't we all? She, Les Dennis won't have seen her cum face. No, no. <laughs> a, what a woman coming! I don't, I don't think that's right, man. I think uh, you're incorrect there. Uh, they yeah, only an egg, and then you just uh, no, they're mandible. Amanda, shake. No, Amanda Hall holding's terrible. We specialise in these kind of hard faced bitches. Well, a uh, can Cheryl Cole. Oh God, another tanless fucker doesn't do anything. She's doing an advert for vitamins now, which is a ha- which home is of the scoundrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Here's the thing with Have you uh, seen Simon Cowell's face? I don't know what's happened to it. Plastic surgery. Udi, when I had, remember, remember a couple of years ago, I got my bee sting yeah. or my spider bite, whatever spider the fuck bite. it was, uh, and my face. Ah, yeah. yeah, I love to put that up online and show sure everyone. Again. Jesus, but same look as Cowell. He's nobody in his life that says fucking hell me. You look fucking terrible. They must oh, all say him. You look great. You look. Br- oh, ten you look years better, younger. Ten year. It's like he looks. L- he's got less life in his face than Udi Hussein. I remember that picture. Remember those pictures <laughs> yeah. of the two of them. They looked far better than him. <laughs> they looked better. David Guest looked better. Oh, oh God! And he, he, but his eyes are like these little piss holes in it's his just, cheeks. I don't know what's happened. He's he's probably said, and this is the problem when you have money and power. You go, these wrinkles are want removed, and, and someone would go, no, those wrinkles character. actually give you not just character, but make you human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you take them away, you're not going to look normal. No, he doesn't look normal. But you're not going to d- look average. The, the, now he just doesn't fuckers look like him. If it's these the, the dangerous people in this country, God, there's a lot of danger. But it's the media types who go from A to they go to America and back. Uh-huh. So Cowell nips across them. He's big in both sides of the Atlantic, Weird. and he's brought that American plastic surgery back here. But thankfully, I don't think it's overly been normalised. I don't really so like it very much. I think people, people are, oh, that's are suspicious of A lot of, of young people, have. there's been a phase of lip fillers and all that, but I'm led to believe that's dying off. It's, yeah, it's that's going out of away, fashion. Because yeah. it's unnatural. It's You're weird. getting 22-year-olds getting Botox. Yeah, that's it's so ridiculous. Weird. You know, It's the best you'll ever fucking look. Don't do that. Yeah, no, but... But I don't, like, like, I don't like the proposals. No. I don't like the everyone look at me, I'm on one knee and... Oh, fucking horrible. The girl's got to go, oh, I'm so happy. How many of those times? So they say, oh, I'll marry, but then they go, fuck, no, I'm not. No, nah, we're not doing it. It's just for the memes. No, it's weird. Too just compli- for the gram. Too elaborate. Too elaborate. But, but I'm you, sunk again. This fucking chair. It's fine. But if you did no, something like, like that, you above me. if you did this huge thing, yeah, over the top thing to get married, how do you keep that up for the rest of a marriage? How do you go through <sighs> the days when one of you's got a bit of diarrhea and needing a bit of bread and... Bundies. I don't I don't I don't go for I I'm very like you in this aspect. I like mundane things. I think that's yeah. where I find the most humour. Mm-hmm. I find the most excitement. Just mundane things are just brilliant. Yeah. But people have got to do these they don't understand that. They've got to do these elaborate things to show how much they care for someone. Yeah. It's like the con that you're meant to have what is it, how many months' wages for a ring. That's just an advert. No, but, di- but di- that's it's the nonsense. The whole diamond ring thing's a pile of shit. It's diamonds nonsense. are worthless. Diamonds are di- worthless. Diamonds yes. were own. Diamonds were rich people's stuff. Yeah, it's just. And then nonsense. they got oh, so many diamonds. Don't know what to do we? So they invented the engagement ring. Yeah, it's just a big pile of shit. It's nonsense. Just like the Christmas card, fucking the Mother's Day card. Everything is. I just think if you have like a ring made out of. Emeralds or something. I think they're expensive because yeah, they're, they're to get. rare. It's they're a rare thing. So you I think can, you can rubies. Make, and you can make a diamond. Yeah, that's it's you get Superman cares. to squeeze a piece of coal. Diamond <sighs> or a Scotsman to take. What a, you need to do? You pop a bit of coal uh-huh. in the pirate's arse. Uh-huh. Start screaming at him. Oh, diamonds! It's money there. It's money. The pirate. Ash money. Well, see, when's he retiring? When's oh, he fucking God, off? No, when's he fucking off? He's always saying he's, he's leaving. Lost his, he's lost his woman, though, his piece of shit woman. <laughs> She's gone, so he's not so happy now. Yeah, he's sad. But do you go and sit with all the, 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 the trust of Does he sit with them? Yeah, he's always around them, yeah. sniffing about. You uh, know what I, mean? he's a, I don't know his motives. He's a weird one, isn't he's he? He's a weird one. But I've managed to avoid five, six years. I've been here six years ago. Six years on the first. No. I've been here. And he's never shouted at me like that. And and when it happened, oh. I just started laughing. Yeah. Because when I started laughing, it just sent him through the roof. Does he think he's the big dog? He does, but he got told he's not, and he stopped. Does he, he thinks he's a big dog in this building because yeah. he's been here. But imagine doing business with him. 
He would stiff you out money. This, the people shouting him. Well, I don't think he does so much business now. But when he was, you know, doing a lot here, every week someone's shouting him, trying to kick his door in. Wanting all money the off time. It. Yeah, all the time. All oh. the time. I couldn't live like that. I got I got a passive aggressive phone call from my friend Ross last night. It was oh, his birthday. Oh, can, did you forget? Oh, of course I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. He said to me. He said to me. Uh, he says I'm disappointed. He says. He oh. says I waited for the post day. There was nothing. What? Oh. I says. Oh no. I says. Well, you never sent me anything. You can't. <laughs> that was the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not passive. He's just telling you. But he's become a boomer. Oh, what's happened? He likes going to the dump. Oh. He's always worn check shirts. Oh, oh, he likes a if you jam shed wine. What you the fuck is that? No, it's a sweet red wine that boomers drink for their orgies. Does they he like have half glasses? No, no, he's no, not there no, yet. He's no, not there yet. No. But he's got, he's grown a beard. He thinks one of his he's a teacher. Sexier. One of his pupils oh, told maybe him. Maybe not. <laughs> one of his pupils told him he looked like George Michael. So he's quite delighted by that. But I think he met late stage George Michael. Oh no! Crashed into. <laughs> <laughs> Snappy snaps. <laughs> you look like Madonna. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. very much. Yeah, Late stage week. Madonna. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. You look like Johnny Depp. Oh, lovely. Johnny Depp 2022. Oh. 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 I, was, I was watching Johnny Depp on stage and. Was he in, I would want he to go see him. No. I would want to go to see him. One of the big it's regrets. Not a good one of the big regrets of my life. What? It was a, a Steven Seagal played in Perth Concert Hall. Wouldn't have been great. The thing is, it would have been funny for a good two minutes, but and then he played for two and a half hours. Oh, I couldn't cope. No, just got, I got in it with the toilet. Went. Just fuck off. <laughs> but it was really expensive. I bet it was yeah, really expensive. I saw was it Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers doing a drum clinic there, oh, okay. and we got free because I was at college at the time there, and we uh, got free tickets he to go and see him. No, he's still going. He's still with us. He's still going. Chili was, Peppers a bit quiet now. He was very yeah. They're ugh, they're older guys. They're all. You know, hitting 60 They'll all be vegans now Oh, I imagine clean so living I types. imagine so Like those fuckers from Aerosmith Oh, they're, they're not the most clean tea- They pretend they're clean living I don't believe it for a minute uh, I bet you they're all on the herbal tea I bet you And cocaine Colonics. Co- And cocaine I don't believe it I don't it. think they take I, I, think, I think they're puritanical with us I, the I think that's get tested for I think drugs. that's lies I think it's lies I think it's lies No I'm not They've sure They've got man. the energy and faces of cocaine users I'm not sure man I, I They don't wouldn't know. have lived that long It wears them out It's like the Rolling Stones will just be on like all kinds of Herbs. Herbs. Mike Jagger's not even smoking a joint. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm telling God. you. I, d- I don't know. I'm Rod not... Stewart, like I said, was throwing him. Rod Stewart's embarrassing. Oh, he says, he'll, you know what? I would just say, way home with you and spend some more money on your train set. Well, he was that <sighs> Len Goodman guy. It came when people over a certain age pop up on the TV, you go, oh no. You yeah. Just, and Len done. Goodman started going on about Indian food being foreign, Mark. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> curries are the finest thing. The finest. They're, yeah, again, if you <laughs> the were greatest to, food if you ever. If you go to people in this country, I think curry is a national dish of the UK now. Everybody loves definitely it. Definitely a Scotland. Yeah. Definitely a Scotland. Yeah, a good curry is transcendentally good. It's oh, just like I, the I, best amazing. thing. Greatest Nothing like ever. it. Yeah. I'm, I'm My jealous. favourite food. I'm jealous that I've had curry. I'm, I'm, I wish I'd never tasted a curry and I was having my first curry today. I yeah, agree. I, that's a brilliant thing. I, I have visions. I, it's okay. chair. I have visions. Imagine these Scottish fuckers went across during the Raj. Yeah. Went across. They'd been living in fucking Dundee. Eating a. Sucking on a neep. Just sucking on that's a, bland brown food. And they oh. went across to India and had their first taste of curry. It must have blown their fucking minds. They say that they said they went native. Just the flavour profiles, the the, 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 the the people, the colour. It must have no, just No, you been... think about every aspect. Yeah. So you're sitting in Lochie. Aye. And they said, right lads, you're shipping out tomorrow. Yeah. So you ship out. Heat. And you're like, you're cold. Yeah, Aye. exactly. You're cold, you're shivering. And slowly you get closer to India. Oh. And it starts getting warmer. Yeah. The sky's bigger and clearer. Yeah. And you go into a culture which There's is parrots flying massively everywhere. diverse and yeah. colourful and exciting. And you've got First food thing and ever everything. Seen orange. The, the colour orange. Not, no, you only saw black and white no, in here. Right. And then you get there. Well, and you know, seen, a strong sepia. A strong sepia. And you start seeing colour. Yeah. It must have been magical. And you've got Len Goodman just saying, oh, it's foreign. Oh, it's different. Mark. No, it's great. We. Len Goodman. 
Scotland has done nothing. See fuckers ago, the fifties were the best time. Oh, Just shut the fuck up. Shut shut your mouth. Shut the fuck up. Fifties were shit. Terrible. I'm fucking glad Don't I was. Go and look at photographs of Dundee oh. in the fifties. It's like Victorian slums. You can't believe it's People real. People to death. Yeah. They, they got to sit in a chair for a year and then they were dead at retirement. Mm-hmm. That was it. And they, all they had to look forward to, the highlight was mince and ties. And I like mince and ties, but it's sad to say I'd rather have a fucking chilli. I'd rather oh, have of spaghetti course. bolognese. Of course. I'd it's rather. Like, I don't eat any of the local food. It's shit. I don't. Can I like a dough ball? No, I do like it. Can I don't. Dough. I don't like it at all. F- fish and chips. Horrible. Oh, the, I don't like oh, I love fish and chips. Fish and chips holds up. Breaded fish is fine, but the no, rest but of it's going to be in a bar. No, I don't like but that. But to say foreign muck. Foreign but it's muck. Not for, what's foreign now? We're living uh, in. That's a good there's point. There's no foreign. We we'll live international cuisine. I can in Dundee, which isn't the most forward thing in the places. Mm-hmm. You can get fucking dim sum. You can get Lebanese wine. You can get brilliant. Can I mean, uh, last night I had a pizza. We can do just sauce on it. It's incredible the choice you have. I was traveling to the jungle, mm-hmm. and we were on a bus trip. Right, I was stopped halfway at this lovely hotel, right. and there was a pool, and we were planning to go swimming, but the heat was so unbelievable, I didn't even want to leave the building. Right. right? Okay. So we got free food. Mm-hmm. There was a, a buffet put on. Right. And I go to it, right? And everyone else on the bus, it's like a lot of Australian, South Africans and that. And they're like, we can't eat that because mm-hmm. it's curry and everything. And as oh. they're saying we can't eat it, I'm going, what? I'm on my third plate. I couldn't stop. Well, they don't have the... Uh, uh, oh, I, 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 I had the best time. Like Americans and Britain is quite unique in liking its curries because if you go to France and Spain and don't like they're, nah. like, a, they're like a spice maybe a paprika yeah but they're not really into or they wouldn't but have a vindaloo curry but, wasn't but I, huge I, in the I, States I really now. believe that food is the greatest gateway into a culture well I understand that completely because smell is you put, smell so you have a memory when you mm-hmm. smell something and it just transports you it's, a, it's very powerful yeah I mean, you always it's, everything's about visuals. I've said this, and I'll tell anybody to do it. If you're ever travelling, get the poor people food yeah, wherever yeah. you go. Yeah, yeah. You go get momos. Get in the states. I never had biscuits and gravy. I got biscuits and gravy. It's just flour. Did you have a sloppy pepper. joe? No, I haven't. But biscuits and gravy is a pain to make. Fifteen minutes of mixing it so it doesn't go lumpy. But it's fantastic. That's like a dough ball. Yeah, well, it's kind just dough ball. It's just. Poor, people, poor people's food tends to be stodge. Yes, and uh, sometimes you just like a stodge. That's, yeah, uh, uh, just get, you look at you look at Chinese food, the little dumplings, mm-hmm. and you think, God, they're sophisticated. It's too salty for me. They're sophisticated. Japanese food and oh, that's what's okay. Yeah, and we're just there. You go. We eat, we have mashed potatoes, and Boiled. that's how you go like that. Well, everyone's bile. Boil, oh god, the vegetables right. are I grew up with that. Ones, but no, no, boiled vegetables, boiled uh, uh, cabbage. All the good, oh, I like it. It looks like skin you've peeled off your feet, and they go, Eat that, but just, oh, it's just, just do other worst things. Thing. I, just hate add it. A bit of spice. I hate it. I right, hate Len it. Goodman's foreign muck. And this I hate is that. a man, this is a man who's a multi millionaire. He's had a career on both sides. Can he, all he is is a dancer, let's yeah. be honest. He's done pretty well. Get a bit more sophisticated, Len. Exactly. But all he goes on about your hearts back to the 1950s and holidays in Bognor Regis. Oh, You're what like, a piece of shut shit. Shut the fuck up, Yeah, good shut man. your mouth. The, the, the world has so much to offer and for you to learn and to grow. And you go, foreign muck, I don't like well, it. Well, there was a European Bullshit, market. Bullshit, man. There was a continent. Was it a European market or an international food market in mm-hmm. Beard Hall? Years ago, okay. I was getting a bus, and he's old foot, no, just like that. That foreign smelling muck. Oh my and all god, they green, they're like, oh, disgusting. A plate of mince and that is for me, it's foreign smelly honking muck, olive oil, and all that. Muck. And I said, I, the ugh. sooner you fuckers are dead, the better. Good for you, That's I, I appreciate said. that. The sooner you're fucking sooner dead, you're the better. dead. Fuck the lot of Fuck you. off, die soon. Fuck off. Oh, he was annoying god. me, fuckers. That I hate just, that. The fucking there's a boomer generation mm-hmm. who we spoke about this last night briefly, who are trying to fuck it up for everybody. They're using their last vote and yeah. block to they don't believe it it's if things are a mild inconvenience to them, they get a vote against it. They don't believe in global warming, they don't want to change their cars, they don't want a windmill, they just they want everything to stay the same. Yes. They need the, the, yes, what? I agree. I don't know what's going on. Soylent green. You reckon? The only thing is, I wouldn't eat them. 
I wouldn't want to eat anyone. Because they just eat mince and tie, so they're flesh. Because then that would become local, poor people food. Yeah. And you've just got this green lump, you go, Imagine oh, eating the pirate. It tastes like someone taste from like? Kirkton. He'd be like, just East <laughs> German pork. Do you know what I mean? Just mainly. <laughs> just, just, like bleachy clue. Like a bleachy clue. <laughs> not good, not good. But yeah, so uh, so that was what we were talking about. We started on marriage proposals and we ended up with boomers. Coronation chicken was invented for the coronation, right? And it just sums up. <sighs> it's just so bland. I hate that, it. That's the idea of like, and just looking back at the, my life, like school, we had curry at school. Yes. But it was not spicy in the slightest and it had sultanas in it. It was disgusting. Oh, that's it had curry, the Chinese it curry. Had curry yeah. powder in it. That was school yeah. curry. And now you can just get not just regional curries in I hated school. Uh huh. And school was a terrible place, but I have to say You liked the canteen? The canteen was award winning, like it was the number one in Scotland or <laughs> right, something. Okay. Then I think it got the number one in UK. And every day you'd go in, uh-huh. they'd have a selection of oh, food from around the world. Yeah, and but that's, it wasn't that's edu- shit. That's it was. Ed- that's I, education. I think back to it. That's education. That is education. But it this was kid, wonderful. There's, there's a wonderful. horrible, vicious cycle. In this after was after was splashed out for the Queen's entertainment. Yeah, for the Queen's holiday weekend, a long weekend. Mm-hmm. They're arguing, there's kids going to school in this country who have not been fed. Yes. And there's people arguing against feeding kids at school, but that's what I'm saying. Ki- Free kid, meals at school. Kids are going to school, they're not academically achieving, and it's like, oh, they're just poor people. Poor people are stupid. It's no, no they've not, not eating. eating. They have no eating. You're not educated. That's right. Feed all kids. Feed all kids. Feed all kids. Give them all kinds of food. Do you want to know how good it was at the Harris? Aye. We used to go in and one day they had all the curries on. The last a week. Right. And then it would change every week. Yeah. Italian, every yeah, yeah. Bit of stuff you couldn't imagine. Yeah. It was great. But chapatis. Oh. They were so popular. They kept them. And you had to run. Mm-hmm. You had to fucking run oh. to get chapatis. Oh. Everything went on. I fucking love a homemade samosa. Oh, isn't that lovely? That's a perfect food. I'll be hungry. It's making me hungry, Some man. Some chicken money but bags. Imagine, kids at school... There's a mix of kids, all different ethnic backgrounds. Yep. They're all sitting around the canteen tasting each other's food. Wonderful. That, the, but you're right. You said that that's education. That's education, 100%. And that, that food will make you go, you know what? And people Learn say, about it, culture. I love Italian food. So they want to go to Italy. That's not silly. That's, that's just, any just, gateway to yeah. caring about another culture just, is important. Home economics teacher, you're, you're, you're helping the kids cook a curry in the class. Mm-hmm. You discuss all the herbs, all yeah. the spices. Yes, the spice that's fruit. it. That's great. History is food. Humanity is based on food. It's wonderful. Mince and tatties. Yeah, I, I love a tatty. Thing. I hate potatoes. I they make me sick as fuck. A really fuck. good baked tatty. It's oh, it makes me so no, sick. No, poor bastard. Don't like it. But yeah, but Len Goodman, oh, fuck, fuck off, Len him, Goodman. Fuck him, he's done. Who else Get was on? Fucking Which TV. other old cunts have washed up? There's just... You wonder where the Tony beer. Hadley from Spanda Bali was on a bus hanging a off the side. Of He's a fucking prick as well. Fat fuck. He dyes his hair. Of Chestnut he brown does. bullshit. He's like he 83. He was the one who was illiterate. Was it Brian Ferry was illiterate? Was he? Oh well. One of them was illiterate. But Ken, the, the Brian Ferry kid's on his dead posh now. Because he's, he's, his son's like a campaigner for farmhood justice. Oh God. Who cares? I don't, I've got no time Spandau for them. Spandau Bali. The thing is, I like the other two guys who Spandau Bali more than Hadley. Kemp's. Aye. Uh, the Kemp's. They were working class lads done well. Didn't one of them have a brain aneurysm? Got a big metal plate in his head. Jesus. Not yeah. good, not good. Spandau Bali. Spandau Kate Bush Bali. is having a right old revival, isn't she? Kate Bush. Enigmatic. I, you know what? I'm I'm glad that uh, another generation have suddenly discovered yeah. Hounds of Love. Yeah. It's a great album. Sexy, wasn't she? Oh, she's wonderful. And you see, the thing is, right, she's only 63 now. Yeah, she's got she's time. She's been around for 40 years. She's got time she, to do she shit. She was like 19 when she recorded Wuthering my da- Heights. My dad's got a fondness for Kate Bush. Oh, I love Kate Bush. Yeah. Incredibly Different. talented. She was her own thing. Didn't sound like anything else. We've had Kate Bush, mm-hmm. Annie Lennox, mm-hmm. Skin. 
Yeah, oh, you like it? Skin. I, uh, oh, I love Skin. You like even skin? even our solo albums, I think, are astounding. But she they se- didn't get she, the impact. She seems like a very nice person. As She's well. incredible. She was very nice to me. I have to say, I was very. Well, that lucky. was her mistake. That was her mistake. <laughs> but Annie, Annie Lennox is a bit poor faced these She's days. She's a bit poor faced. But if you listen to the quality of her singing, right in nineteen eighty five, right. there's not many people like her. I always liked. Not I, many I, people I did like, like Annie Lennox's style. It was good. Oh, so I that's striking. You remember Dave Stewart's when... an ugly bastard. Though, He's yeah. a weird looking. He's of that great tradition, ugly bastards like. Um... Which I approve of. Yeah. But I'm hoping it's going to work for me. It work for you. It's good to see <laughs> ugly bastards doing well, like the ugly Elvis. What's his name? Eh? Ugly Elvis. <laughs> Remember the shades. Oh, Roy Orbison. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's Elvis. an ugly bastard. Ugly Elvis. <laughs> that Elvis. Film looks fucking super. It looks superb. good, doesn't it? The trailer looks good. That guy's been kicking about for a while, the actor and that. He's been in loads of hogwash. He fucking it's fantasy stuff and everything. Speaking of films. He's got himself a role, let's get it. The final subject. Uh huh. Top Gun. I've now I haven't seen, seen it. No. But hold on. It's the most successful second weekend of any Is film it? ever. Strange. Now they're being sued. Yeah, I saw that by the people that wrote the original, or the guy that wrote the original book, The Family. But hold on, check this. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, why is this film so fucking popular? Some people are saying it's this patriotism. No. No, we discussed it. Well, it's a change from capes, but they'll be doing right. superhero stuff still. Is it nostalgia? Maybe a little bit. Yeah, okay. Is it because you've got Tom Cruise as a star? Maybe. I know what it is. It's a bit of fun. Yeah, just fun, yeah. You don't need to read into Ball, it. Balls to the wall excitement. It's fun. Yeah, okay. And it's big fun. Yeah. Right? Because the problem with the Marvel films, you've got to read into them and understand the characters and you've got to look for Easter if, eggs see, and yeah, see, no one cares. See, if you were just for coming, children. if you were just discovering Marvel, Marvel films now, yeah, that's a lot of stuff you have to watch. It would look like madness. Sense. Yeah. If you just, where did I start? Well, 20 years ago, start with this. Oh yeah, my no, God. you couldn't do it. No. So... I think it's just because it's fun. It's simple. And it's got people our age back to the cinema. Miles Teller, though. He's meant to be good, isn't it? I'm not going to watch. I dislike him. He's meant to be good. And, as we've said already, I had seen bits of it, and it is a Star Wars remake, Mm -hmm. but apparently it really is a Star Wars remake. (laughs) So that is good, which is... Uh, But that's fine. But I think it's because it's fun. And you do have all the good aspects of nostalgia. It was brand recognition. uh, Only in part. And are they using the same theme, soundtrack, Take My Breath Away, as that feature? Well, I saw a clip of the start and it goes, dun, 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 dun. and I went, oh, this is exciting. That's a good song. Dun, dun. Harold Faltermeyer's, as a, a guy writing soundtracks, uh-huh. you don't get much better. Okay. He is incredible. Okay. Mm. Incredible. But, but I think that's what it is. You can put all these would aspects you, would together. Would a 60 year old man not be retired for flying planes? No. Not at all. Sure. I don't think so. I don't think. I think they I can think go they for quite a while. The pilots. As I don't, a, uh, uh, I don't, I don't a, know. As a test a pilot, thing. go and look at the test pilots. Oh, they're all these. Old, old oh, guys. they're old guys and that. Yeah, they're oh, all like gosh. a bit fat and stuff. I'm not sure if the Top Gun would have a Top Gun guy in six. As a trainer, yeah, I think, think they so? can. Yeah, uh, I know. think years ago would well, be allowed to hear die. The oldest combat soldier to die in Iraq was seventy-one. Okay, I think they can still. No, no, no. But I think it can be done. Okay. I think it can be done. Uh, you'll be surprised. Uh. I think uh, the the Russian uh, general that was just killed flying. I think he was in his sixties. Uh, uh. So uh, you'll be surprised at what age died. a lot of them dying. Yeah, Turtles in general. But uh-huh. Top Gun. Yeah. So it's not just the actor. It's not just the uh-huh. you know because I'll <laughs> tell you why not. It's a melange. I'll tell you why. Yeah, maybe. But I'll I'll tell you why not. Every single person who heard Top Gun 2 was getting made went, for fuck's sake, nobody wants to see it. And despite that, it came out and is fucking brilliant because it's been well, made correctly. But what else is it What else is it competing with? I don't think it's about competing. No, I it think is it, all competition, mate. No. Because to be big, you've got to, you've got to get, you've got to go, will I go and see Jurassic World or will I go and see Top Gun? And enough people are making that decision. It's a competition. There's some great films uh, nobody's ever seen. I think the competition at the moment, I think Top Gun is not only a great example. Start of the summer. Yeah. 
people are peeking people out. People of a wee... certain age now. Us, we're going back to the cinema. I'm not. I'm not. But there are people of a certain age going back. But here's what it is. It's a bit of bombastic, silly fun that's yeah. done without patronising the audience. Okay. And if you get that balance Do right, people die in it. Yes. Oh, does, does Top Gun die? <laughs> He's not called Top does Gun. Does Maverick die? I'm not. I'm not saying. He's always a maverick. He's always, he always, it's just a maverick. He's always, if he's a, if he's a toilet attendant, he'd be, I'm not putting those pineapple chunks in the other day. You're such a maverick. If he's well, a chef, I'm not using salt today. You're a fucking maverick. I was reading, because. He's a maverick. I don't know anything about pilots. I was reading about them, how they get their. clench their buttocks. Their names, that's right. Mm-hmm. So they don't black out. Mm-hmm. Got to put a finger up there. In their bunks, they've got to get the guy next to them, get a finger up, and they don't black out. Now, it's called the joystick. You don't choose your own name. No, you don't. No, you don't get a cool name. So you'll get a name that relates to something you do or have uh-huh. said or something silly, and you'll you'd never be, like so it. So you'd be Spunky Blanket. I'll be Spunky Blanket, or I like the, I like being called Mady. <laughs> I, I don't know how to fly, but no, they'd be... And I like that idea, and... I was reading a lot of the names and how people got them, uh, and they're really quite offensive and funny. They're actually quite witty. I like to be called good. Poop Shoot. Poop Shoot. <laughs> but you are the best pilot in the British the RAF, Poop Shoot. Because it's all like red one, red one, brown finger. <laughs> it's like, no. I was that. listening, there was a YouTube video about some guy, I think he's called the White Feather or something, but he was some top sniper in the Vietnam mm-hmm. War. Fucking mental. Oh, he's one of these guys. He loved that shit. Yeah, he was just back, killing he like done all his, still, he done all his tour of duty and they sent him home to his wife and kids. He's oh, like, fuck, fuck that. Went back, back again. Then he got multiple sclerosis. No, yeah. he got set on fire. Oh Jesus! Forty percent burns. Then he got multiple sclerosis. It was just awful. But he's the one that famously don't know if it's a shot the guy through the side. There's, yeah. Well, I think they've kind of disproved. Does that, that not work? I don't think it works. You could hit it. You can and, hit and it. Probably a piece of something would go into your Yeah, head. but I don't think yeah. I don't think you can do it. Sniper. I think they've tried it on several programmes and it's yeah. not possible. But you know, not possible. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it, it could happen. It could happen. War man. Pilots. Pilots. But no, Top Gun I've I'm You excited about I it. I really want to see it. It looks no. fun. No. I see here's the problem, right? Mm-hmm. When I was a kid, I was just a bit too young to go to the cinema to see Aliens. But okay. when it came out on video... <gasps> Everybody knocked the shit out I of sat that. down, oh. watched it, and I've never had a feeling like that. It's almost perfection. And if you watch it now, it stands up. No, it's it d- brilliant. Mm. Don't watch it on DVD, though. No. You'll see everything's held together by tape in the background. The problem I have with it... Yeah. And the more I watch it, as the years go by, it gets worse. The soldiers... Oh, wow. The gung ho ness That's the whole point. No, no, I know, but th- the, they are supposed to be future Marines. Yeah. The Marines now, they're more, they're different. They're, they're, le- they're less gung ho. Ah, no, but. So they've had to have. Re- they'd you've have not to have read regressed. the books that go with it. They'd have to have regressed. No, these were like not the greatest Marines. Oh. Because they were put on these off world jobs. Okay. And they even say it's just another bug hunt. They don't have great work to do. Okay. So, oh, you, oh, you've looked into this. If you look at them, but they're, they're all they're, they're all a bit disjointed. Ah. They've maybe been lo- uh, they're not great. They're You're trying been to in trouble. Right. No, but they just the the the, the modern military is more professional. And I'm thinking, no, that's what get that's what kind of hmm. yeah. They're a small they're unit like that's Viet- not wanted. They're like Vietnam. Well, it's, the story is Vietnam, no, no, isn't Vietnam. it? But when I saw Plus that Adam Savage has got a marine outfit and it just I know. I don't put he, it on. But wh- Don't put it on. Where does he keep all his stuff? Do you? Is that stolen valor from Space Marines? A space Marine, Colonial Marines. His nipples chaffing on his fucking oh, breastplate. Oh, you'd hear them. You'd hear them. So he did a thing the other day. Though he was in them, um, he was looking at the original props, the maquettes from a uh, stop motion maquettes from a uh, Gremlins. Gremlins. Yeah, 2, I saw that. And they were lovely. They're beautiful. I love stuff like they that. They were lovely. But the way he speaks about stuff, he's just. It's a bit too... He's got his gloves on. He's, he's too like, erect about it. Yeah, he he's does. Too, he's too into it. But where does he keep all his, his collection? He's not... It's, he's just holding on to it for future generations. I saw him once. He, he, he loved in the Born Identity when well, he, he picks the, the bag yeah. and he throws all the stuff in it. Yeah, he made that. And he made it. It's like, what's the fucking point of that shit? Just, just get a bag and throw shit in it. Who's get, what's that going to happen? What are you going to do with it? I bet his wife's fucking the pool boy. <laughs> Because you know he's going to be 
Just check it. He's in the studio. He'll be in there for the next three days. She's getting well read. Coming out wearing a fucking <laughs> Iron Man. <laughs> oh, God. Outfit. Here he comes. Oh God. Clunk, clunk her, up her, the street. Her vagina just instantly dries <laughs> when he appears <laughs> in his Captain Kirk uniform. Oh, God. <laughs> Sitting in his long chair. suffering. Oh my god, I couldn't be it. Yeah, and poor <laughs> Norm. I suppose Norm has to knock him off. Norm, Norm, Norm uh, seems like he has a personality. <laughs> That's something that he has. And he just gets on when he's working, does he? Uh, he's, 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 he yeah. seems a bit more perfect. He puts it down and goes home and has his life. And he's got a wife and kids. I didn't yeah, expect he's a, that. He's a, he's a normal guy. You know, what I watched the other night The Fifth Element. Oh, it's wonderful. Isn't it good? It's I love so its hokiness of it, the, co- the rubber costumes. And everything. Oh, good. I loved all that. Yeah, I it's loved got a bit of style. That. It's got a style. Well, it's uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier done yeah. it all. And it was filmed in the UK, wasn't it? I so it's so. got that. It's got Moxie in it from Ovidia yeah. Zane Pet. It's got all that. And Bruce Willis is so good in it. He's so good, isn't he? Star, if you re- it's made me sad because he's yeah. just like, he's, just he's got life yeah. in but he's, she was he's really good as well, Lee, the lassie. She's uh, Mila, yeah, she's good. Yeah, she's. Have you seen Monster Hunt or something? It's called. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh, her films. Her fucking films. They, they chog them out. Oh, they do. There's more coming. There's Is some there? other kinds that she's doing. Yeah. There's she's some... not making another Resident Evil. No, I think the last done... time I saw that, they appeared to be on Blackpool Beach. <laughs> and all the zombies were wearing boiler suits. <laughs> It's just so bad. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. It's so bad, those films. Oh, they're terrible. The I don't like one, them. When's the last time you watched that? It's, it's been a long time. It gives time you a migraine. It's, it's so... The only watch good the bit last one. That'll give you a headache. Colin Salmon gets cut into chunks. I think the last one had Ruby Rose in it, who is the absolute worst actress. She is. She's and so bad. I don't... <sighs> but the, she's no getting roles now. Oh, she she's fucked a, up with she, the Batgirl thing, didn't she? She's in you? a film called, is it The Concierge or something? Oh, that. Have you seen it? Right, I started watching it. Did you see the hat they've got her wearing? It's incredible. Yeah, it's... I thought, I, what? It's, she's wearing a wee peak cap. It's so strange. It's, yeah. Garbage, but she can't It's beyond garbage. She's a style to her, she's a look, strong look, but she's Strong just, look, beautiful girl, seems to be talented in other ways, but... But not acting. Not acting. Not acting. Not acting. Not acting. Yeah. Don't I can't act. say, I, I don't want to say a lot bad about her, because I've heard her speaking that, and she seems pretty okay. Yeah. She's the kind of person I'd get on with. But she just can't act. But the acting. Yeah, but that's quite important in if the you give me an actor. Or they'd see her in the Meg. They're making the Meg too. Wonderful! I can't wait. No, I hated the Meg. I loved it. No, because I was looking forward to it, but it was garbage. Of they had it, they were on a fucking underwater platform, and the shark never went near it. Yeah, just went, went away. Just, I, I think they lost track of what the film should have been, and it could have been. No, it was, it was Chinese money. Yeah, and then it just lost it. I think they were pulling in all directions at this film. Yeah. And if they had it tighter, it could have been a lot more fun. Yeah, it should have been more balls to the wall. Yeah, it could have been more fun. But I enjoyed it because I just... See, if you don't want I to think... I watched a film I could perfect. recommend called All My Friends Hate Me. Right. And it's a British film. It's a dark comedy. And now this is when they go to... They all meet up and meet they're up all... in a stately home and guy's birthday. Picking on this guy. And they're all picking on him yeah. and he's being very paranoid and it's fucking brilliant. And it's meant to have a fantastic ending. Yeah, it goes oh, places, right. okay. but it's it so places. it's that awkward. The thing that the Brits do very well is embarrassment because we're yes. all embarrassed after the weekend. We've you just know had. what I watched? Because um, I just saw it on Amazon and I haven't seen it in a few years. But uh, Alpha Papa. Oh yeah, uh, it's brilliant. I fucking, he's arsing in it. It was funny the yeah. first time. The uh, second time was. was I funny. think this is the fourth time I've it's seen ge- it. It's a bit of genius. Fucking crying, Isn't laughing. Because Steve Coogan himself is a complete oh, prick. Famous cunt. But I saw him in Edinburgh and called him a cunt. Oh, good for you. Mm. But Alan Partridge is oh, wonderful. Never been better. It's Richard wonderful. Madeley. It's just it's wonderful. It's just him. Yeah. And the him from me, uh, call me he's so good in it. The shotgun. Oh, call me with a shotgun. Mm. I like the guy. He's sort of. Uh, Sidekick that gets the gun on his yeah, head. He's okay. He's yeah. having a breakdown through the whole thing because he said because he's got the shotgun in his head. He over it. And he goes no. And he's says, really upset. Says he's there's a guy who says he's a drummer from Marillion. Yeah, <laughs> it's so good. The um, another film I watched last night Netflix is called City of Ember. Oh right, not seen that. And it's a young adults kind of thing. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And it's uh, so beautiful. It's like a. 
people are living in this city under the ground. Oh, like I have seen nuclear that. Nuclear bunkery. Yeah, thing. it's all rusty. Oh, yeah. This design, Bill Murray's Bill in it. Bill Murray, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah so that's, good. That's so right. good. I would recommend it. Oh, I have There's seen that. There's a big that. mole in it. Big star nose mole. Brilliant. Oh, film. they're nice. It's all British. You know, you what tell. else? Oh, I saw a film that I've been wanting to see for quite a few years. Uh -huh. Hannah. Yes, yes, that's got the fucking, same lassie in it. Yeah. Uh, uh, so she, yeah, it's got that terrible. Eric Banner's in it. It's a missed opportunity. They did not like the film. Kate Blanchett. I thought it was terribly made. Uh, There's a TV show. Terribly about. made. TV show as well. It just didn't work. Yeah, quite violent. Little kid killing yeah, people. Yeah, and it could have been great, but yeah. I don't know if it was in the edit. I feel the edit it's got was that just Tom Hall. Tom. Tom. He plays the kind of gay German assassin guy. He's quite creepy in it. Oh right, yeah, but yeah. I just no, I just. I thought it was I've been waiting years to see it to get around to it and I it's watched no, it's it it's no Leon I didn't like it Leon I loved they probably won't meet Leon again blew me away yeah Gary Oldman and in then that, you but... find out that it is actually representing the director's taste love for it yeah <coughs> and actually oh. I genuinely thought it was an innocent story in yeah. this violence yeah and it wasn't no it wasn't that's how naive I was yeah that sounds no. a bit like the COVID, mate. Do you think I've got the COVID again? I don't the want COVID it again. swirling. The swirling. No, I just breathed in there and someone went... <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. A particle or something. A particle or something, it's ladies and gentlemen. A ball skin or something, you never know. That was... Psychic pets. What's a level? No. Psychic people re being psychic to pets. What, am I boring you? No, I'm just checking. I'm Marriage you proposals you never bore me. and Top Gun. Ladies and gentlemen, Goose man. talk to me, Goose. Ice man. Who's the big guy with the big tits? <clears throat> what? Getting there on the famous beach, the gay bit when they're playing volleyball. Oh, the tall guy. I heard it was in Terminator. He's got the. Yeah. He's still with us. He didn't last long in Terminator. No, he, he was in up just a, a spirit, second. Spirit <laughs> he put defeat. up a fight. He put up a fight and then got mm, killed. Got killed. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. You enjoy yourself. Don't go and go and catch up on some of the Jubilee thing. No. And tell me this country's not just spilling into something. See, this is what happens because sometimes we talk about America, we talk about this and that, but we are a fucking disaster of a country. That's why oh, we feel we've got the right. We can talk a, about anyone. We're, we're a shit. disaster of a company held just together we like elastoplasts. Yeah. Union Jack elastoplasts. We're terrible. It's bonkers. It's, it's, they think this is going to be some umbrella that just. It's the glue that binds it, all the dis different no, people. We just, hate. <clears throat> I was watching things. A lot of like Jubilee foods been unbought. Yeah, so it's, there's loads of it. Yeah, I don't think outside London it was quite the party they thought it was. No, was there any in Dundee? There was a I don't think so. I think there's some people up in the Highlands, but they're just oh, cheap yeah. shaggers. And there was a beautiful uh, picture of the celebrations in Liverpool. Nothing. Lots of empty benches and just a couple of flags. <laughs> Nobody went. I like the Scouse. It was good. I, like I have a lot them. of time like for them. the Scouse. But no, uh, Britain, Scotland is terrible. I would move to America tomorrow if I could. I, <clears> I had a lovely time there. Really nice. Yeah. Nice people. You just want to get back to your sloppy Joes. Oh, no. Biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy. Uh, what else did I like there? What other food did I like there? No, it was... Did you try a thing they've called a burger? No. Cheeseburger. I didn't have it. I'm led to believe they eat them. I discovered Taco Bell. Now people will Toxic be laughing. Toxic smell. Disgusting. They'll be laughing. No, I loved it. Oh, you could. Crunchy you... tacos. Of and I first went, I said, "Can I have one, please?" And everyone was with me, laughed. I went, "No, you want more than that?" I went, "One's enough." By the time I finished, I was buying eight. No. Eight crunchy tacos, and I could fucking eat them. That's disgusting. Oh, they were great. No, they're famously bad. Famously good. Kept warm under no, a, like famous, a light. And famously just bad. If you paper get, around it. Oh. You can get the greatest Mexican food going, and you're choosing to go. I, to hold on. I, I loved Taco Bell so much. Uh -huh. We got our first Taco Bell years ago, and it was uh -huh. in London. Is, oh. And I got on a bus. Uh -huh. And I went to London. Oh. Fucking 500 miles there. Oh, for a I got... I got four crunchy tacos because it's all I wanted, and I sat and ate them. Walked around for the rest of the day. Oh went my. to the British Museum and then came home again. That's not a joke. That is not a joke. I done a thousand mile round trip for crunchy tacos. It's because because of people like you that this country's going to the dogs. <laughs> yeah, but you get Taco Bell. We don't have one in Dundee. We get it's one in Aberdeen. I'm surprised. Do you? I'm surprised. There's one in Aberdeen. Because Dundonians will eat just about anything. So um, I think me and my partner were taking a trip up Fraserburgh, 
Uh, you get go for a time. Huh? And I'm going to s- drop off, uh. get a few crunchy tacos. Uh. <laughs> she should drop you off like a Christmas dog and just yeah, leave you, come back leave. again. <laughs> <laughs> you just did the lay by. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy Wash your, your balls. And your tacos. <laughs> Wash your taco balls. Ta da. No, you're do- you've been so good for so long. Uh-huh. Laters. Ta da. There you go.